everyone, my name is Caro. I'm an international student from Mexico here at the University of Victoria. I'm studying biomedical engineering. I'm in my third year, hopefully finishing soon. And yeah, I'll be your tour guide today. Over here we have the Welcome Center, which is where you can find very nice and helpful people that can tell you directions and information about anywhere you need to be on campus. Here is a one card office where you would get your student ID and we call it a one card because it works like all in one. You can use it at the library uh, for your gym membership card to access health services and also it works kind of like a debit card so you can add funds into it and pay for uh, your food at different food outlets uh, at UVic and also use it for printing. So we are outside the International Center for Students, which is where you can find people that can help you with your study permit, work permit, or even settling here in Victoria overall and in Canada. They also do an orientation at the beginning of the year so you can learn uh, more about what, uh, how you can settle here in Victoria as an international student. And these uh, supports are here all throughout your degree and your stay here at UVic. So we are in the quad right now and this is, it's this big green open area and it's called the quad because it's a quadrangle and it's surrounded by all of our faculty buildings. To my left we have humanities and social sciences, then behind me we have human development, and music and education and then to my right we have all of our STEM, so all of the sciences, engineering and computer science and now we can head to the library. We made it to Macpherson Library, which is the biggest library on Vancouver Island and it houses over 2 million books. We made it to the residence area and I'm actually standing outside our two newest uh, residence buildings and they actually have Lekwungen names. Over here we have Choknin Alien or Choknin House and then over here is Snaka Alien or Snaka House. Ubik is honored that the Songhees and Esquimalt nations have granted permission for us to use these names to keep their language alive and also to acknowledge the history and the land that these buildings sit on. Yeah, so we made it to our next, next stop, which is the Student Union Building. We call it SOP for short, and it's run by the University of Victoria Student Society, uh, which means it's run for students, by students, and then all of the proceeds uh, from this place go back into student services. Let's go in. Behind me, we have Felicitas, which is our, our own campus pub, and of course it's 19 plus, uh, but they have a lot of cheap food options, daily specials on food and drinks and also they have weekly uh, events such as trivia nights, karaoke and music bingo. And then over here we can see all of our food outlets. Uh, the sub is actually the cheapest place to buy food on campus if you are not on the meal plan so I would definitely recommend checking it out because they have really yummy and cheap food options. This is Cinecenta and by the name you can guess it's a cinema. So we have a cinema right here at UVic and they put free butter in your popcorn their tickets are very cheap, it's only about $7 for a student and you can just check the website to see what's showing every week. We also have a pharmacy, a dental center and Victory Therapeutics where you can find a dietitian and a chiropractor so you don't need to go very far away from your big to cover some of your health needs. Over here we are in the hallway of our advocacy groups which include the Students of Color Collective, the Students for Society for Students with Disability, the Gender Empowerment Center, the Native Student Union and UBIC Pride. Over here we have the Center of Accessible Learning, we call it CAL for short, and if you suffer from a disability, a learning disability, or anything that impacts your academic life, this is where you can come and ask for help. They offer different types of accommodations, such as extended time during exams, and they also work on it on a case-to-case -case basis, so they can help you succeed in all of your courses. This is the Co-op and Career Services Office. Doing a Co-op is earning paid professional experience while you're still studying and getting your degree. Typically, students take a summer off or you can take it anytime during the year and they go and work in the field of study. And it's a great way to earn experience and get to know what they are studying for. 
and a lot of students who have done a co-op are able to secure a job once they graduate. Also, as a UB graduate, you are still able to come and ask for help at career services where they can help you find a job and things like that, or switching your career, and you can always access it even if you have been graduated for a really long time. Okay, so this is the bookstore at UB where you can find all of the school supplies you need for all of your courses. This includes but is not limited to pencils, pens, art supplies, notebooks, binders, or even buying a laptop. You can buy it right here. And this is where you can also buy your textbooks and this nice Ubic merchandise. Over here is the Ubic bus loop, which is very important because around 30% of our students commute to school by bus. And also our bus pass is heavily subsidized by the student society. So we only pay around $80 for the whole term, which is four months, and we are paying around $20 each month. And if you're taking it, taking the bus five times a, a week, twice a day, it just pays itself. The buses on this side of the bus loop go to downtown and it takes around 15 to 20 minutes to get there. We are outside CARSA, or Center of Athletics, Recreation and Special Abilities. This is where a lot of our, where all of our student athletes practice at and also it's for all fitness levels so if you want to do only a drop-in basis or get a membership to do the climbing wall and use the equipment here or do the climbing wall and go to the or recreational classes you can do that as i mentioned this is all for fitness levels everybody is welcome Thank you so much for joining me on this tour. It was a pleasure showing you around UVic. And one more thing I would like to mention is that UVic is a destination university. So you will get the chance to meet students from all across Canada and all over the world. So I really hope to see you here at UVic.